So what I've noticed about most of those that we've heard from tonight, and which is true about most successful people, and when I say successful, I don't mean money. I mean success meaning they're uh, you know, mastering themselves. Their emotional intelligence level is extremely high. Um, just being able to stay calm and in control of themselves even during the most chaotic situations, right? That only happens with putting an emphasis on positive focus. So case in point, when astronauts are st strapped into a space shuttle and they're about to take off, I don't care how much you've trained for this moment. That's got to be one scary situation. Do we agree? Yes? But the astronaut can decide to focus on remaining calm, getting to outer space, and putting a flag on the moon, or they can think to themselves, in T minus 10 seconds, I'm going to be a human fireworks show. Right? So it seems that in order to adapt that mindset, you actually have to truly believe that things are going to work out for the better. All right? And so it's easy for us to assume the worst because in life, we've just been taught and trained that things are just not going to happen good. So it, is everybody in here familiar with the saying, anything that can go wrong will? So I say, what if we see how that works in reverse, and we say, what if anything that can go right will, right? We can never truly control outcomes. But what we can control is how we feel leading up to and how we feel leading after. So imagine how our educational process could be if we stopped making failure seem so scary. Would you really think about the worst possible outcome if you didn't fear the worst possible outcome? Uh, as they mentioned earlier, there's an amazing philosopher that once lived. He said some amazing things. His name was Tupac, as Brandon and Letitia spoke earlier, right? And so Mr. Shakur once said that he was OK knowing that he himself wouldn't change the world, but that he would spark the mind of someone who would. Now, any of you familiar with Tupac know that towards the end of his life, he spoke a lot about the possibility of him dying uh, prematurely. It was during this time that he made his best music, arguably, the most inspiring bodies of work were created in the last 12 to 24 months alive. So he wasn't panicking thinking that he was going to die. Rather, his tone was, I'm going to die. So how much knowledge and game and music can I leave behind so that when I'm gone, what I've left behind is going to spark the mind of someone who would change the world, right? Most of us, me included, would probably be thinking more along the lines of, OK, how about I focus on just not dying? You know, that sounds like a much better initiative to get behind, right? Yes? No? And so it's an absolute given without a doubt that everyone in this room will one day be dead. But what we don't wake up every morning thinking about is our inevitable demise. You know, uh, instead we focus on going to college. We focus on getting educated. We focus on building a career. We focus on finding a spouse so we can fall in love and start a family. We focus on the good things. We focus on things that bring us joy. Even though we, none of these things are done or are guaranteed, we think about these things and we work towards them without thinking, unconsciously. So what I want us to do is, if we can focus on, excuse me, if, if we choose to make it a point to consciously focus on the good and the upside, I'm not saying that we live naive as if nothing bad is ever going to happen, but rather we live knowing that bad things are inevitably going to happen. But when they do, we are going to focus on whatever ounce of good we can find in that situation. So it's a choice to decide how you're going to react to those emotions. And when we get caught up in the moment, sometimes it's hard to control those. So we have a challenge. That challenge is to rewire our minds to focus on solutions rather than to focus on problems. So if we focus on the fix, it makes the journey of getting through hard times in life much easier to deal with, uh, while also turning you into someone who doesn't go down without a fight. So what I want you guys to do is the next time you find yourself in a jam, focus on the fix. My name is Toast Nassau, guy. Thank you guys. You've been great. <laughs>